Pellegrini. And I'm Kelsey Paul. And you're, you're watching, watching It's Today for WHITradio.org. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today is April 23rd, 2013, and... Ida and I have some news stories for you guys in our news segment called Top That News, which we started two shows ago. So, let's get right into it with our very first story. And I'm sure many of you guys have per participated in this new trend. What is it called, Ida? It's called the Cinnamon Challenge, and even if you go on YouTube and you type it in, you see like thousands and thousands of teenagers, sometimes even teenagers involving their parents, yes, um, tag-teaming and doing <laughs> this. And I've seen a few myself. I mean, they're very funny when you look at it, but at the same time, you're wondering, what's going on there? Why are they coughing? Okay, let's just explain what the Cinnamon Challenge is. The science behind the yes. Cinnamon Challenge. So, the cinnamon challenge is when you take a spoon of ground cinnamon and without any water, you try to swallow it. Which yes, just, just take some cinnamon and shove it in your mouth and then try to swallow it. Yes. And videotape it. And videotape it and then That's post important. it on YouTube and get yes. a million hits. That's, That's, That's what teenagers logic. do nowadays. <laughs> um, so, why is this bad for you? <laughs> okay, let's start with that. It's it's funny, but it's bad for you. It's dangerous, and it can be even fatal sometimes. I guess people don't think that it's bad for you because you use cinnamon. It's something that you find in your kitchen. Yeah, and when you think of it, I usually, when you eat cinnamon, it's not that spicy. But when you have a spoonful of it without anything else, it's, it's not very, that great. Yeah, it's not a lot very of, uh, Excuse me, uh, Mr. P, a lot of uh, coarse fibers in cinnamon. Yes. Yes. Uh, that can damage your lungs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the science behind it, like the side effects after you, you know, consume the cinnamon, you instantly suck the moisture out of your mucous membranes. Mm -hmm. This is scientific, you know, wording now. And mm -hmm. coats your tongue, cheeks, and back of your throat to the point where you cannot breathe. It sounds like a fun Saturday evening with yes. your pals. <laughs> Just and to top this off, if you have asthma or any other pre-existing medical complications, it could be very, very dangerous, and in some cases it has been fatal. Wow. You know? yeah. So telling you guys out there, Don't do stop it. it. <laughs> if it looks it's like it's fun, it's probably not. dainty. Not. Yeah, it's not worth it. Yes, <laughs> you know, it can damage your health, and, and I think there's been some, at least one death, contributed uh, to uh, this uh, challenge, cinnamon challenge. So yes. uh, it's very dangerous. It's, it's a fad, and uh, if anybody's pressuring you out there to do it, uh, just say no, 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 100,000 times and walk away. That's it. <laughs> yes. I mean, people don't think it's bad because it's not like they're doing anything yeah, illegal, illegal, but it's still dangerous. Yes. So just, yeah. and just be smart. Yeah. It's – there's – better things out there to do than putting your life at harm just to have like that video. Go outside yeah. for once yeah. in your life. <laughs> Read a book or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that was our first story of the day, and now we're on to our second, Reese Witherspoon. Oh, Reese Witherspoon. Oh. I love her. No. Um, <laughs> she... So do you want to, should I tell? Okay, Go well, ahead. she and her husband were driving, <laughs> and he was driving the car, and they were committing drunk driving. So obviously, the good police officers of America stopped them, yes. and they told her not to get out of the car repeatedly, and she responded with, do you know who I am? I am Reese Witherspoon. So she played the famed card she that does not card. work when you're going up against the police <laughs> at all right and in turn she was charged with disorderly conduct and she had to go to prison and get a mug shock <laughs> mug shot and go through all of those things so oh gosh. i don't know if this is gonna put a tarnish over her career let's mm -hmm. let's see but she's not the first that's 
no. uh, done no. that, and uh, she won't be the last. But uh, obviously, it's not good PR, public relations. In a that. way, she is right, though, because from where I'm standing, celebrities get a lot of slack. Yeah. A lot right. of the times. They do things yeah. that would cause other people to go to jail, and they go for, like, what, a, a few days, yeah. a few hours. Perfect mm-hmm. example. <laughs> Lindsay, Lindsay, Lindsay Lohan. Lohan. <laughs> That's the first person that comes to mind. Um, so, just, yeah, Reese, I hope you make better decisions in the future. Yeah. So, next, we have a more serious story. It's um, bombing updates. Yes, from so. the Boston Marathon bombing. Last time we talked, we had a very serious, long talk. 20 about minutes yes, long. Yes, about 20 minutes long about the Boston Marathon. And we were not sure at that point, which was last Thursday, who committed um, uh, this heinous crime. And Friday, the day after, we finally got our answer. Uh, So they caught the brother, right? Mm -hmm. Well, he was dead first. And then the second person to be caught was 19 years old and he was what was his name okay they were well. from somewhere in russia well, yeah. russian name yeah i, I, it I cannot me pronounce right it now, but, yes uh, uh, obviously his older brother had a great influence yes. on him uh but that's still no uh excuse for what he did i mean i if he's i mean he's alleged he hasn't been tried yet so we're we can't presume guilt. Uh, we have to presume innocence and still proven guilty. Uh, it's a cabious, uh, I mean, corpus. I think it's pretty obvious that they did do it at this point because of the shootout with the police. Yeah. So, but I mean, they still have to go through a trial. Yeah. Like everyone He's else. He's the main suspect. Let's He's just the main suspect. That. Well, yeah. He's probably the only suspect, suspect at this point. Yeah. At this point. Yeah. Um, I, I still kind of find it a little bit sad. I mean... They committed a very, very harsh crime, but it, it just goes to show you that someone who was 19 years old, only like three years older than me, um, had his whole life ahead of them. He was very sociable, I heard. Um, Smart he kid. A lot of friends, lo- like a lot of family. He was very, very, he went to like engineering school. He had his whole life ahead of him, and just because of like this thing, it's all gone, like yeah. everything. The best case scenario is probably like life in jail for him now. Yeah. Right, and a lot of people are calling for the death penalty, including uh, Senator Schumer in New York, who's pretty much against the death penalty, but yeah. he said in this instance he would be for it. So, uh, yeah, as you said, uh, one terrible act, or one heinous, uh, heinous act, and uh, his whole life is ruined. But he ruined many other people's lives as well. Yeah. I mean, so... Uh, you can build all the, yeah. you know, the sympathy towards him. Yeah. But yeah. W- in the end, he did kill mm-hmm. and he did hurt a, l- a, lot, a of lot of people. people. A yeah. lot of people. Uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, uh, unfortunately, he fell prey to his uh, older brother's influence. Uh, and, uh, you know was uh, dramatically altered, which has dramatically altered his life. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we're and he'll live with the consequences. Yeah. We're going to move on now, but just yes. one last thing before we do. Have you seen the thing on the news about um, the older brother's wife? Oh, yes, They keep I did. bringing her up. They're like, does she know she was with the Boston massacre? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, just one thing, just, just stop at news people, because I really don't think that they should involve their – family members any more than they already are because I doubt like I guess they have to investigate but I doubt that their family knew the media should not be attacking them if anything you know the police can question them yeah it's up to the police they're probably suffering a lot now like they're probably ashamed they're probably suffering they're just leave them be I think um but anyways we have more bombing news uh yeah more (laughs) and more bombing news I don't know if maybe just because of one bombing, it's it's a trend. Yeah, or maybe Copycat. the media is following yeah, it's it. Probably now. that. Yeah. So we have the Canadian police discovering and interrupting an Al Qaeda inspired plot to blow up a passenger train. This train was, I believe, it was from New York to Canada. They stopped it, thank God. Yes. And the two men. 
I probably am pronouncing this wrong, Chihib and Sagir, who was 30, and then Ryad Jazer, who was 35, were the two men who wanted to uh, blow up this train. It's very sad again, uh, but thank God that, yeah. you know, the Canadian police could uh, stop it before it happened. Leave Canada alone. I like Canada. <laughs> They're the only ones that you don't hear all these stories every five minutes, so I hope it doesn't yes. continue for them. Um, so then we have a local bombing story. And I was watching the news when all of this Boston uh, Marathon, you know, updates were coming in, and lo and behold, Bayonne was in the news. Woo! Go Bayonne, but it was not a not good story. Not a good thing. <laughs> not at all. There was an attempted bombing in Bayonne. Um, think it was not, of course, of a greater scale the big scale of that but yeah. it was like an experimentation there was two when i was watching the news there was two men uh, around 20 uh 21 years old and they were out on their fire escape experimenting with bombs and milk cartons and trying to blow up you know something and it shook the apartment below and s like smoke and smut went into the apartment and at that point you know police were called and they were arrested and their hard drives and all the technology was taken it's just crazy i how don't know if they were just happened. trying to have a good time like if they were like oh this is cool let's try it or if they were really trying to prepare they, yeah they I, looked I, it I up know. online you yeah know? it's it's crazy i mean i understand that the government isn't supposed to censor us but there is some information i think that is yeah better left on attainable by every like just how you put um child safety on your tylenol i think you should yeah back I, up with that information yeah. a bit they uh, crazy stuff happening i hope it it becomes calmer and people uh again go yeah. read a book instead go read a book <laughs> go read a book there's so, better things to do yeah and that's all we have for today right yep hopefully next time we'll have brighter stories for you guys yes but for right now, we're still keeping an eye on the trials um, and everything like that. So have a great day. Bye, everyone. Bye.